If you think about anatomically where we are, we do IT band after lunch and MCL, but if you are pain to like anterior patella tendon, uh, maybe meniscus in here deep, Osgood Schlatter around that sort of area, then this would be more effective to do that. And I'm going to show you one extra thing in here as well. Now, the first one, you can do it first or last, will be directly across the patella. Let's say you've got the teenagers who complain to say Osgood Schlatter, 15 to 75 directly over tendon, no stretch at the end. So that could help the Osgood Schlatter if you rush in for time. Okay, you know, you could say to the team, try this and it might help offload the pain to this area here. You could just try one thing, like in Achilles, just use one strip. This one, this is a, so the first one we did no stretch. The second one will be stretch. I just wanted you to feel the difference of the tape. Remember it's about the patient, not about you. From here, so this is the five. So start around mid sort of quad area, pull it. And then 25% stretch to start with, so 25%. And then as it comes towards the patella, 50% to cross and finish on a tibial tuberosity. Okay, so you're going to start and come around. So 25 to 50%. So the first one had no stretch. The second one has stretch. So it gives you a choice. So the patient didn't feel much support from the first one. Try this one. So from this one, 25 again. So 25% stretch. And as it comes towards the patella, 50% and then finishing across the tibial tuberosity. You can either use your hand now to heat activate, but I probably would always use the tape. Some of you are not rounding the ends. Um, I know it's time, yeah, but if you can get into the habit of rounding all the ends, etc. Now, once you've done that, if you slowly straighten the leg, you might notice some creases in the tape, etc. But what you can do is, if you wanted to try, like you mentioned about the tape in, um, for tracking, if you use a small piece, you can use like two and a half to three, and then if you rip the end and apply that laterally to the knee, as into the patella, pull it, thumb and finger, push, push, okay, so you're going to push and pull, okay, so with the thumb, push your patella and pull, and that could work for tracking. So if you feel walking on stairs, it hurts the front of the knee, then you can maybe try maybe try the first bit first and try that on its own. Walking up and down stairs, bending. Is it reducing the pain? Squatting. If it's not, then add that bit on after. It's not in my book or my maybe it's on my video this one. It is, it's on my more recent video of knee taken. So try that one. But don't do it all in one go. So do the first bit first, and then those three. Then test the patient bending stairs. And if it's not quite there, then maybe use a small piece, lateral to the patella, push with your thumb, pull with the tape, 50 to 75, you can use a bit more if you want to. Try less is best first, and then retest on that one. And then try bending. You might have to play around with that one a little bit. You can use that on its own as well. So if you just wanted a quick taping for the, you know, if you're rushing the time, events and things like that, you might not have time to do all this. Like let's say you do a competition and a guy's squatting and everything's bent, it's like, and then he hurts. You could just put a bit of tape on and just say retest and try it. Yeah, rather than doing one, two, three, four stages. Okay, because you haven't got the time. But one bit, yeah, you can do that. Okay. So that'll be the one before lunch. Have a go.